everyone. This video is a tale of two stations. One's Glasgow Central, one is Glasgow Queen Street. Glasgow Central services the south of Scotland and services across the border into England. Glasgow Queen Street services the west coast of Scotland, the Scottish Highlands and also Edinburgh. Now we have two terminus stations here in Glasgow. That's not unusual in Europe. For example, London has six, Paris has six, Moscow has nine. But unlike London, Paris and Moscow, we have no metro which links our terminus stations. You have to walk or you have to catch a bus. And that's where things start getting interesting. It's not a major problem in Glasgow because as the crow flies, the stations are only 360 metres apart. To walk, it's 470 metres. However, ScotRail does provide a bus service between the two stations. If you walk, this is the quickest route between Glasgow Central and Glasgow Queen Street. If you decide to catch the bus, due to Glasgow's grid system and one-way streets, this is the bus route. And here's the bus. Now according to their timetable, it takes just six minutes to get from here, Glasgow Central to Glasgow Queen Street. I reckon I could walk it quicker. You fancy a race? Seriously, you'd only catch this bus if you're elderly or infirm. Notice this sign on the back of the bus? £1.50 to travel 0.84 of a mile. Is this Britain's most expensive point-to-point -point bus service? Based on this price of £1.78 per mile, to travel the 47 miles from Glasgow to Edinburgh, your fare would cost £84. Normal fare, £8.50. To travel the 413 miles from Glasgow to London, it would cost you £737. Average price on Megabus is £15. And for my American viewers, the 2446 mile journey from New York to Los Angeles on Greyhound, something which I'd love to do but I think it would be a killer of a journey, average cost of $175 would cost just $4367. Ouch. It's the same with airfares. The shorter the journey, the more per mile you pay. But it's still an expensive bus ride. If you can think of a more expensive bus route, please leave a note below. Poor old ScotRail. It's operated by Abellio, who are a Dutch public transport company. They've struggled so much with the franchise of ScotRail that the Scottish government is going to take over control of the system in March 2022. I think I know where Abellio have failed. Firstly, Abellio or Dutch. Now I don't have a problem with Dutch people or anything which is Dutch. I love the cheese over there by the way. It's because they're from the Netherlands. Now the Netherlands is a country which is pretty flat and all the railway lines are straight. Here in Scotland we're hilly to mountainous and all the railway lines go all over the place. And as a result Abellio have struggled with her on-time performance. Another reason is that Abellio don't know the difference between a train and a bus. So here's a quick heads up. This is a bus, this is a train. Bus, train, bus, train. See the difference? A belly can't. Keeping in mind there's no direct train service between Glasgow Central and Glasgow Queen Street, ScotRail have dedicated an entire page to a non-existent train service. 
They've even added a nice picture of a train to reassure you they know what they're doing. Now I've worked in the Glasgow city centre for 30 years and I can guarantee there is no train service between these two stations, it's a bus. Fastest train 5 minutes? No, it doesn't exist. Slowest train 30 minutes? No, it takes an eternity because it doesn't exist. Direct trains per day 98? No, the exact number of direct trains is zero. The part I like is just up here. Are there any direct trains from Glasgow Central to Glasgow Queen Street? In actual fact, no there's not, because there are no train tracks. Look what happens when you try to click on the online journey planner. Let's go from Glasgow Central to Glasgow Queen Street. Let's go for a return ticket. Oh shock! There are no fares. And that's because there are no trains. Yes, that's a good pub quiz question. ScotRail operates train services to 352 stations across Scotland. Between what two stations can you not buy a ticket? Glasgow Central and Glasgow Queen Street. If you really, really want to travel by train between Glasgow Central and Glasgow Queen Street, you can do it, but you have to forget all that nonsense on the ScotRail website. There are a couple of possibilities, but the shortest journey is to travel from here, Glasgow Central's low-level platforms, and it will take you to Queen Street low-level platforms, We have to change trains in Partick. That's a round trip of four miles, just to travel three quarters of a mile up the road on foot. Who in their right mind would want to do that? Either way, you can't buy a ticket for this journey. You can't buy a train trick from Glasgow Central to Glasgow Queen Street. You have to buy two one ways, unless you're sneaky. Now the ScotRail system reads Glasgow Central and Glasgow Queen Street as common rated. So by starting at Glasgow Central and ending your journey at Glasgow Queen Street, you're technically buying a return or round trip ticket. Let's see if that works. This setup is similar to aviation in fair construction where different airports are regarded as common rated such as London Gatwick and London Heathrow, uh, Orly and Charles de Gaulle, Lenate and Malpensa in Milan and JFK and LaGuardia in New York. Right, our train should be here in a couple of minutes. Well, I managed to change platforms without having to use my other ticket, the return portion. The thing is, though, this has not been validated at Partick, therefore, will I get through the barriers at Queen Street? Only time will tell.
Well, I'm not quite sure what that proves, apart from the fact you can travel from Glasgow Central to Glasgow Queen Street by train if you want to change in the party, but it will take you 20 minutes. Anyway, that was just a bit of fun. Some of you might think, if I find that fun, then I need to get out more. Of course I do. I need to go to places like Portugal, Italy, uh, Germany, Poland, but I can't at the moment because of COVID. Anyway, thanks very much for watching this video. It was a little bit of fun, something different, and I'll see you next time.